That's really interesting. I had, I, I remember before I was able to get sober, I had a into integrative therapy therapist, you know, and, and she would say stuff to me all the time that I'd be like, huh, you know, she'd be like, okay, well, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about your shadow side and this kind of thing. She'd say all this stuff and I'd be like, that's, I wonder what she's talking about, but that's interesting, you know? And then, and then I started trying to get sober and like some of the ideas that were coming in, I, I sort of didn't understand them either. And I actually uh, got so desperate. I went down to Mexico and, and tried this alternative therapy that's not legal in the U S called Ibogaine, which is like a massive hallucinogen that really confronts you with trauma that you've buried. And, um, when I came out of it and I went into AA and, and 12 step work, I really saw how connected all of that stuff was. And I saw that like the trauma that I had seen and the shadow self that I had seen when I was under this treatment was all the stuff that my therapist had been trying to get me to talk about. Like back then I finally called her up and said like, wow, I get what you're saying now. Like this makes so much sense now that I'm trying to like integrate these things and deal with the trauma and, and, all the step work stuff is just such such good practice for um, you know dealing with some of that stuff. But it was really amazing to me to see like a lot of these approaches are so yeah. are, are it's almost like the different religions, like Dave was saying. Like you know what I mean? It's like they're so different, and yet you boil down them, ninety eight percent of them have to do with this one specific thing. It's amazing. Exactly, and and like you're when you're dealing with a traumatized system, you don't want to like go overboard too much where you're like all of a sudden like sometimes there's certain meditation and certain things that can be too much for somebody who's been through trauma because it actually brings you into the trauma vortex it brings you into way too much into it trauma is overwhelmed so we don't want to overwhelm ourselves in the way that we process it and i think that's part of why the 12 steps really works because it's steps right because it's like it actually paces out a process for you so that you're not just like hit with oh shit i have to like change everything all at once or I have to face everything that I've been through all at once you know it's like like in the work that I do I work mostly with the um, nervous system with with trauma and so I want to pace that out bit by bit you know like we'll touch into it we'll work with it a little bit you know let some of it come out and then we're gonna kind of bring you back you know what I mean so that it's not just throwing you more into overwhelm baby steps baby steps yep yeah. 